Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Uh, hey, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. So today it's Valentine's Day and uh, I had to make some room in my freezer uh, because I got a uh, brisket on sale for $1.98 a pound. That was awesome. Um, and I needed some room. So I pulled out some chicken thighs. Now chicken thighs is something I've done a hundred times before. I wanted to do something a little special. Uh, so I saw Darren over at Ash Kick and Barbecue. I'll put a link for him up above if you want to see how a, an actual pro does this. But I want to do something a little bit fancier with them. So I'm going to do competition style chicken thighs. Now I know you're saying, but GT, you don't do competitions. I know, but I'm going to give this a shot today. I thought, what the heck, it looked fun, uh, it looked delicious, and uh, I thought I'd give it a try. So stay tuned, I'll be back here in a minute and we'll get this chicken prepped up. Okay, we've already done uh, a couple of these. I just kind of wanted to go over the procedure. You just kind of open these up like so. And then the skin's going to kind of want to come off on its own. And you just want to kind of get your finger under it. And you want to try not to tear it. But it's okay to push your thumb down underneath there. And it'll come off pretty easy until it gets over to this uh, fat seam. But just work it. Push your thumb through. Push your thumb through. And it just comes loose like that. But avoid the uh, temptation to tug on it too much. If you just get your thumb under there, it'll come off pretty easy. It's a little intimidating first couple but once you get the hang of it it's not a big deal so we'll put that off to the side for now now you have your chicken thigh exposed here and we have the bone here we have quite a bit of meat here and not as much over here so what I'm going to do is even this up and kind of square it so you'll also note there's a little knuckle that kind of sticks up and I want this thing to sit flat so I'm just going to kind of tip it up take my knife and just pop off the end of that knuckle. Get rid of that. And then we'll start over here. I want to get this fat off of here. So I'll do that first. Like so. The fat I discard, but all this extra meat I keep. And uh, this is going to be a stir fry. So none of this is going to go to waste. Now we turn it back over and we try to make it even so that there's the same amount of meat on both sides. So I'm just going to go about like so. Put this in the good pile. And now you have kind of a little square piece of chicken thigh. We'll set that off to the side. Now just take the skin and just spread it out, push down on it. I know sometimes the pros uh, and the competition guys will actually scrape this to get that fat off of there. I'm not going to do that for this. So kind of a backyard deal and I'm not a pro. So that'll, that'll give you an idea of the size you have. And then we're just going to take this and we want about the same amount of skin on either side and I want enough so that it can uh, overlap a little bit so I'm just gonna go like so kind of eyeball this and you're gonna end up with something like this so we get this nice and spread out we're going to put it on here bone side up. And I'm going to come back and unwrap these uh, here in a minute. We're going to season them. But this is the prep. I'm just going to take the skin, 
pull it up and over like that, kind of give it a roll, kind of tuck in the ends, and you're going to end up with something like that, a nice little uh, pillow-shaped chicken thigh. So I'm going to do one more. I may edit this out, but I watched this part of the video a couple times, so if you want to fast forward, go ahead. See how easy that came off? Always until you get down to that seam. Push your thumb through. Give it a yank. Yank, yank, yankaroo, technical term. Put the skin to the side. Take the knuckle off. Doesn't have to be all the way off, just something to lower it a little bit so it isn't quite as obtrusive. And I'm going to take this fat seam off first. About like so. That's in the good pile. Turn it over. And then we want to try to even it up. Same amount of meat on both sides. This goes in the good pile. And I don't worry too much about it being square this way. That looks pretty good just like it is. Just move it out of the way. Get our skin spread out. There's a little hole in that. That's okay. We're not going to probably end up using that part. And I just kind of squish it down with my fingers. Get it spread out as thin as I can. And get our meat on there. Goes in the skin pile. And I kind of squish this together. Up and over. Roll it over. And there you go. So I'm going to do about eight or nine of these, I don't know, whatever's in the package. Uh, I'll finish them up and then uh, bring, bring you back here in a sec and I'll show you how we're going to season them. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got these unrolled. I'm just going to do a couple of them. Uh, all I'm going to do is take a light coating of my salt, pepper, garlic. This is my homemade stuff. Like that. Turn it over, a little bit on the other side, not too much. Turn it over, just a sprinkle. Okay, stay tuned, I'll be right back. I'll get these wrapped and then we're going to go ahead and season the outside. Uh, be right back. Okay, I've got them wrapped back up. Now I'm going to hit them with a little bit of Uncle Steve's Sweet and Spicy R. R. It's a pirate's favorite letter, in case you didn't know that. And we're just going to, not too heavy. There's going to be some spice in the glaze I put on these. Put it in the pan. But there's what you kind of end up with. I'm going to put these on a 310 degree oven pellet grill. I'm going to cook them for an hour, but I'm going to rotate the pan after about 30 minutes. So I'll be back here in a sec when we get them on. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got them all wrapped back up. I got a little bit of butter um, in here, so that's going to kind of make a nice little uh, butter base for them uh, to cook in. I'm going to get them out on a 310 degree uh, grill and let them go for an hour and let them braise for a little bit. So stay tuned. I'll be outside in a sec. Okay, I've got Angus fired up to 310 degrees. I'm going to get our chicken thighs on here. Just going to put them on like so. And then I have about one pat of butter uh, per thigh, and uh, that's just going to give them some extra fat, extra moisture uh, to keep them uh, from drying out. So after 30 minutes, I am going to rotate this, but I'm not going to show you that. I'll be back in an hour, and we're going to wrap this and let it go for another 45 minutes. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been one hour. These guys are looking good. Oh, yeah, the rub is set on there. 
They're looking delicious. The smell's amazing. Now it's time to braise them. I'm just gonna get this foil in here. Wrap them up. Get this nice and tight. Rotate this around one more time. And I'm gonna leave them in here for 45 minutes or until uh, they hit an internal temp of uh, 200 degrees. Then I'm gonna pull them, glaze them, and then uh, put them uncovered back on the grill. So we'll see you here in about 45 minutes and we'll see where we're at. Thanks. Okay, after another 45 minutes, these guys temped out exactly at 200 degrees. Take a peek at one of those. Now what we're gonna do is glaze them. And to do that, I have some barbecue sauce uh, and I'm just gonna give these an immersion you want to heat this sauce up. You don't want it to be too overly, overly thick, but look at that. That'll kind of give you an idea of what you're going to come out with. We're going to put these on here, and uh, I'll see you back at the grill. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got these guys in their bath. I'm going to put them back on the grill. Let me get the light on here. So, wow, those look delicious. So. Uh, I'm going to let that set, same temp, here for about 15-20 minutes. We'll be back, get them off, and we'll take a taste. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. First of all, I'll say these things are gorgeous. They smell amazing. I already tasted one, and um, the skin is not bite through. I, I can see now why being on a competition circuit is so hard, because I did everything I thought was perfect for these. And the skin, uh, when I bit into it, kind of came off in all, all in one piece. So my bad on that. Darren props and to all you guys that do comps. So I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to do a bite through. But these things are just stupid juicy, perfectly tender. The glaze is amazing. The seasoning is amazing. That Uncle Steve's rub and the flavor... It's crazy. Mm. So it was a nice Valentine's treat, you know, trying to do something out of the box. You know, every once in a while, just step out there a little bit and try something you haven't done before. But Camber Girl appreciated the effort, and we had a lot of fun doing this today. And um, it's really, really tasty. Um, so I couldn't be happier with this. So as always, everybody stay safe. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.